Oh no. It's cracking. That can't be good. No, you know what? This is silly. I open toys. Meal toys. Happy Meal toys. How does this keep happening to me? It's like some kind of magic. Or a curse. I tried using my mind, and it was broken. Then I tried following my heart, and it only led me to more questions. What am I supposed to do? I can't handle any of this. Come now, dear boys. How <laughs> put him up, put him up. Anyway, good morning and good evening to you, beautiful, handsome beings out there. And another wonderful day here in the wondrous world of Oz. The Emerald City, as always, just out of reach. You know, just out of reach from any actual help. But you know, I need to calm down. I'm not get too nervous about it. Today is a, it's a good episode, right? It's a good episode. I should stop shaking the camera. It's a good episode. We're going to be viewing very unique toy today. Now, one of the first things that I'm noticing right off the bat before even attempting to open this, that there's a weight difference. Uh, it's really hard to convey over video, but with these first two toys, it felt almost like it was made purposely light. You know, a lot of moving parts, the swinging of the axe for the uh, Tin Man, and you know, you wanted to make the Scarecrow toy somewhat light so it could spin properly. This one, however, I mean, again, haven't opened it yet. It's a hefty boy. Ooh, this lion's got cheeks. Cakes on cakes on cakes. Sorry, I'm, I'm afraid I might be acting out. Now, I'm not going to fool myself and pretend like a bunch of you care about this, but let's check out the bag before we open it. Compared to the other two bags, this one is actually really well kept. Uh... All things considered, I mean, it is an old bag. It's going to look a little beat up. But if you can make out any lettering after, what, 20 years of sitting in a bin on a plastic bag, I'm going to give it a pass. Now, I'm going to attempt to open this bag as, as carefully as I can, but I, I'm afraid I, I might mess it up, so I'm going to be very, very careful. Um, um, let me just grab my scissors. Oh, God, those are big. Those are... What are you trying try to take an eye out with these? No. Let's let's try it again. Um, these are better. <laughs> yeah, nice, small. Wait a minute. Are those tiny shears? What do you, you think I'm crazy? You think I'm looking to, to, to check an eye out? <laughs> no, no. We'll try again. Try again. Uh, all right, all right. Plan C. What if I open it with a utensil? Oh, that's a lot of prongs on that one. It's a little... A little, little dangerous. I don't know if I want to... No, are you trying to take two four eyes out? <sighs> no. Ah, uh, now this is what I'm talking about. Safe and guaranteed to work. It's a thing of beauty, really. Ping! <laughs> well... Not the prettiest job, but it got the job done. Now, as frequent viewers will know, I have this thing about checking out the papers and any extra things that come with the toy to really get immersed because I'm all about immersion. Now, looking at the poster and comparing it to the other two that we have, it actually looks to be less crumbled than the rest of them. It does have a very sad tear in the middle. I mean, it's not a deal breaker. I'm sure when I eventually figure out what to do with these, I'll be able to display them without any huge losses, but still, it is a bummer. <laughs> I am finding it hard <laughs> to review this with a straight face. You'll understand why once you see this, this, this charming little guy's face. Check it out. 
<laughs> what is with that expression? All right, first off, this is a very happy boy, but a very detailed boy indeed. Here we find this friendly fellow picking up from behind some bushes, getting ready to what I assume is pounce. I haven't tested it yet, but that's just my assumption. I love the, the palm details of the bush in front of him, as well as the work in the details on his mane, so you could see essentially every ruffle and curl in between. It actually comes to a cutting point around his shoulders, slenders off, still showing hair detail all the way down to his booty tail, which by the way, turns out I was right. He is caked. Wow. And although the colors used weren't super bright, they are vibrant enough to convey the colors of the Cowardly Lion. Though if I was being completely honest, as far as the paint job goes, I do kind of wish they would have painted the inside of his mouth, because it just looks like he's wearing a skin mask of the lion, which is pretty scary. <laughs> but how does it work? <laughs> Only one way to find out, comrades, and that's to walk the yellow brick road. Ba -da 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 -da. Here we go. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Make sure your friends are waiting. Aww. Here we go. Do -do 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 -do. Oop. <laughs> oop, 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 oop. He is. <laughs> well, that's awkward. <laughs> All right, so a few notes. Remember how I mentioned that this toy was actually pretty heavy compared to the other two? Well, I believe that might have actually played into the function of this. See, I think the idea is that he's pouncing, right? The figure itself is heavy. So as you go along, you just kind of hear it. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> it's kind of scary, too. Bum, 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 bum. Put him up, put him up. He actually looks like he's ready to fight you, too. And it's actually pretty reminiscent to the first time you meet him, too. Because in the movie, I believe the first time you meet him is when he's kind of stalking Thardy and the Scarecrow. And he goes, put him up, put him up! Or uh, something like that. But I hear you, I hear you. We have three toys now. That means. Let's see how they all look like together. Ready? Here we go. Snap. Snap. Another successful toy opening. <laughs> that wasn't that scary at all. What it was I was so scared about. <laughs> Courage. Courage? Well, I needed my mind to be clear, and I needed my heart to take a chance, but courage? Why courage? That makes no sense! What am I supposed to be afraid of? Fear. Look at this, he caused a mess, dropped all my toys. Be not afraid, dear mortal. You know, that'd be a lot more frightening if I hadn't seen the movie a half dozen times. I know you're not a god, old powerful wizard. <laughs> oh? I'd show more respect if I were you. Otherwise, I might give you a way back home, which looks about here. I just so happen to have one in the bag right there. If it's a way out you seek, that'll take you back home. But if you do, you'll never learn why you're 